Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to answer to a question how to create a blend feature between existing geometry and as you can see here the first blend feature was created here and then the second one is not possible. So let's start how the system calculates so we will delete the existing one and try to I will try to explain to you how to do it. So we will select the blend feature right now you see that we are in the sheet metal mode and we will specify the select section and we can select the first section. We see that first section has a five, sp five points. And if I will select the second section again, we see that selected section has also five points. The system create the shape on opposite direction. No problem. You can switch. And now it's question that we need to specify the tangency. So if I will select tangency menu over there, we can directly select the tangency and now you see that nothing is happened. So what does it mean? The system select for you, not the surfaces, but the datum plane, what was used. So you see here, if I will show the datum planes, many datum planes was here, was created and now system select this one. So it's easy. Eh? You can select the selected surfaces and select one by one and go through the all surfaces and system will specify the tangent connection. Yeah, so you see here right now everything is fine. Opposite direction, you can change from menu or directly here. What does it mean? If you will select tangent, nothing happened, it's not good. Yeah, nothing changed because it's still selected the datum plane or directly if I will select normal, it will be normal to datum plane and the shape looks good. So this is easy. But question how to deal with this second shape i will show you so let's try we will try to use the same logic so blend feature first edge add and second one and if we will change the tangent nothing and again normal nothing what does it mean over here the shape what is created behind it's really confuse it. So I will show you how it's possible to recognize the final shape. And best practice is if you will try to create and use the boundary blend. If you would like to use the boundary blend, you will have to jump into solid modeling. So I will delete these features and I will get the operation convert to solid. If you are in the solid mode, you have the boundary blend feature here. And you know that if you will select boundary blend, you are able to select, for example, two curves and the system will create necessary shape. If you would like to continue, yeah, I will select. You see that now, yeah, the final shape will be created, but the <laughs> it's not as you need, you see, uh, because the system create a spline here and it's not looks good. So we will cancel and I will create boundary blend more than once. So first one, I will finish second one between two curves. So I always select the control button and then last but not least is this one. So simple straight selection of the boundary blend. And now we will create the necessary connection as before. So first and second. Now you know that you can directly select the normal because we'll be directly selected to datum planes and shape is good or you can directly s check the constraints and you see that surfaces was selected to the datum plane if you would like to change it only select and select surfaces it's the same as before in sheet metal mode okay the first one is nice and the second boundary blend i will select the first curve and control second curve now we will jump into constraints and we will change again to normal and normal because again datum planes was selected automatically so it's fine the connected surfaces looks really good yeah but on the bottom if you will check the system creates so many lines here and what you are able to do you can manipulate with the control points so I will show you, you are able to select the control point. Now it's nothing defined. So select the first point. 
for example, these two points and on the opposite side, if you will select the control points, the shape is updated and if I will finalize the shape, you see that now the shape looks really good and we are able to continue with the creation of the, for example, the sheet metal part. So what does it mean? You need to use the filter and select the quilts one, two, three, four, and five with the control button. And then you are able to select merge functionality. The system will create one quilt. And then from the quilt, you are able to specify the thicken feature and specify the thickness, for example, 0.4 and finalize the shape. At the end, only select the boundary blend and height. Everything is hidden. If you would like to hide the datum planes and curves here yeah, that you don't want to see it. Also, you can hide or you can directly use the layers. And in the layer, you can specify your custom layer or you can select the actually save it status. So if you will open the model again, nothing will be visible. So it will be not possible to see the curves and quilts. In this example, you have seen how it's possible to create the blend feature between existing curves and how to reuse the boundary blend for the detection of the shape. Thanks for a question and stay tuned. Bye bye. Vladimir.